Good afternoon, guys. You know, never before, and never, I, I, I've never seen this before, I don't think anybody ever has, that a president, as he leaves office, even before he leaves office, is scheming to bring down the guy that's coming in. Why would that be? Give a listen here. This isn't, and then I'll tell you exactly what I, what I think. Um, it says, it might seem outrageous and unprecedented that a new, newly departed president would devote himself to overthrowing his successor. But that is exactly what a mountain of growing evidence appears to indicate. Obama's goal, according to a close family friend, is to oust Trump from the presidency either by forcing his resignation or through his impeachment. The Daily Mail reported Wednesday. The source also told the paper that Obama loathes President Trump and considers his presidency illegitimate. Obama is dismayed at the way Trump is tearing down his legacy. Obamacare, the social safety net, and the welcome mat for refugees he put in place, the source told the paper. The Mail is hardly the only source reporting moves by the former president and his allies against the Trump administration. The following is a list of what has been publicly reported by World Net Daily and others about what Obama is trying to do to oppose, many say, destroy the Trump presidency and how he is doing it. Now, there's a long list here of, of things that he's doing. And as always, I'll put this into the description box for you. But let's, let's talk about what's really at stake here. Number one, first and foremost, Barack Obama realizes, and everyone around him realizes, he can be nailed for treason. There's probably four or five, at least four or five different things that he can go to jail for for the rest of his life for treason. In fact, treason is punishable by death. So, he and the Clintons and the Bushes, because the Bushes are all tied into this. And, <clears throat> and for those of you that are new to the channel, you need to know something. For those of you who don't know how rotten and corrupt the Bushes are, if you go back to the days of when Bush Sr. was head of the CIA and Bill Clinton was governor of Arkansas, they were running drugs out of Mena, Arkansas. Now, if you doubt that, and please do doubt it, look this up for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Type in Bill Clinton and Bush Sr. running drugs, Mena, Arkansas. Now, the, the internet has been scrubbed of a lot of the stories, a lot of the stuff. I have a roughly seven viewers who know for a fact, because they lived in Arkansas at the time, they know for a fact that that's what happened. They were there. They saw it. Okay? That's when this all began. Bush Sr., he set the table. He didn't want to be president anymore. He wanted to go off and do his thing with the women and everything. So he set the table for, for Bill Clinton to come in. Bill Clinton stayed in. They, they selected him. They put him back in place for eight years. Because Bush Sr. was the boss. He may have been out, but he was the boss. Then, Bill Clinton laid the table for Bush Jr. Bush Jr. laid the table for Barack Obama. They're all in a, they're all in the same club. They're all part of the same group. This, this has much more, much, much more to do with than just his legacy of Obamacare and and what he's doing with all the rest. I mean, President Trump is, is literally destroying everything he did because everything he did was to destroy the country. And yes, hopefully soon, there will be nothing left of Barack Obama's legacy because it was all bad. His legacy is a complete mess. It's a total loss. Unless, of course, you wanted to have the country destroyed. So keep in mind, what this is about, it's about 
Barack Obama, the Bushes, and the Clintons, and many others staying out of jail because you have roughly a fourth to a half of the U.S. Congress who's going to go to jail for pedophilia. And you have another bunch that are going to go to jail for, for stealing money. This government is so corrupt. You have thousands and thousands of people that are going to lose their jobs, their cushy jobs, that pay them anywhere from $150,000 to over $300,000 every year. Because they're about to be fired. These agencies are about to go down the drain. We don't need them. We never did need them. And as someone used to say years ago, and now you know the rest of the story. God bless y'all. Excuse me. Have a good day. And I'll talk to you later. It is a beautiful day out there. Great day for walking. Bye-bye, guys.